Ghana, man. <laughs> Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Look, all I'll say is this, man. The RU brothers using nepotism and still starting in 2024 is disastrous. That in itself is disastrous. Like, how that's still happening in 2024 is crazy. And I speak to my Ghanaian friend and say, how are you still starting? I swear these guys have been in about 20 or 30 Af Afcons. So you're saying that there are no other young talents coming through that can be in this Ghana, Ghana team. And the fact that they have such a stranglehold on this team is, is crazy. And my Ghanaian friend says, no, no, we are, we are crap. So I think as bad as Nigeria and Nigeria are bad, I think Ghana might actually have a new look. Because, okay, we drew and we looked like horrible. To lose to Cape Verde. I didn't even know Cape Verde was a freaking country. I I, I thought it was a whole... I think I still think Cape Verde is a holiday destination. And I need to give a shout out to Cape Verde. And I think this is what Afcon has shown. Look at Equatorial Guinea. Look at Mozambique. And don't look at Cape, Cape Verde. Nobody fears these big teams, which is why this AFCON is so open. Nobody fears anybody. Nobody fears anybody. Everybody is out there to try to say what's up. And I think Cape Verde showed that we don't care whether you're Ghana. We don't respect you as this great, amazing heavyweight. We simply do not. We are here to say what's up. We are here to say what's up, and we don't give a, a freaking damn, man. So, I mean, um, it's, it's, it's just such a shame, man. It's just such a shame just to see just how bad this Ghana team and somehow Kudos has to, has to create a miracle but you know why it's so bad Egypt is next I think Ghana has, has screwed because Egypt's drag is Mozambique so Egypt are going all out to win this this game they're going all out to win this game Ghana ain't beating Egypt that's not happening that's Ghana team that I saw there they're not beating Egypt so the days of Abedi Pele Yeboa um Essien those days are long gone those days are long gone but I say to Ghanaians, how is it that you are still having the RU brothers in your team? How? But despite that, you have to give credit to Cape Verde. This is not about Ghana. This is about Cape Verde getting a huge, massive win that puts them top of the table. So as of right now, in this group, Cape Verde are top of the group with three points. And their next game is Mozambique. So if Cape Verde can go ahead and beat Mozambique, I think Mozambique might be ranked lowest in this group. So if they beat Mozambique, that's six points. And they're through. That's six points and through. Because remember, Egypt can only get a maximum of like four points if they win the next game. So, most like your boys, they're in a very good position to come through this group already, Cape Verde, if by winning this game and if they beat Mozambique in the next game. So, shout out to Cape Verde, amazing result. And for Ghana, first of all, Comoros losing to debutants and now this. This is the lowest Ghana football has ever been. The lowest. Embarrassing. Terrible. Absolutely terrible, man. Like that vid. Hit sub subscribe. Head over there to the Avcon. So, so, so yeah, head over there to the website there and head over there to um, the Avcon playlist, man, for all the Avcon videos. One love.